Today on All Things 80s, how to remove price stickers from vintage cord backs. Welcome back to All Things 80s, and you may have recently seen the video I did showing the collection I have on display, part of which is a Corgi superhero collection. Now, I love that collection, but there's one thing that's really bothering me, and that's the fact that a lot of the card backs are just covered with price stickers, and these card backs had some really cool artwork, and it's being hidden, and I really want to get these price stickers off. Now, in the past, I've had varying degrees of success removing the horrible Retro Collection sticker from the recent Hasbro Retro Collection series. So I'm going to try and use the similar techniques I used then on this Corgi Shazam, which, believe it or not, I got mint sealed on card for the grand total of 99 cents. So if something goes wrong, it's not going to be the end of the world. And also, it was a car that I never had as a kid. So it's not something I'm totally attached to. But I don't think we're going to have any disasters. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and see how well we can get these price stickers off. So here we have our Corgi Shazam car. And as you can see, the artwork has been obscured by these price stickers, of which there seems to be four of them, ranging in price from $1.27 down to $0.99. Cents which is the price I paid for it, so there you go. Now, very simple technique, as I've done before with the Retro Collection, I'm going to use good old lighter fluid. Now, in the past, I've had a slight issue when pouring this out. It tends to kind of misfire and go all over the place. So I'm trying to be more accurate. So this time, I'm going to use a little container, and I guess you call this what is it, a pipette or a dropper, and that way I can accurately place the lighter fluid only where I want it and not over the entire card. And as before, as you've seen in my Retro Collection sticker removal videos, I have this really, really flimsy uh, guitar pick, which is useless for playing guitar, but is good for getting under the edges of stickers. So first things first will be to put a bit of lighter fluid into the little container here. So. That should be enough. I'm going to suck some up. Right, so I guess we'll do this big big one first. So, like I said, trying to be as accurate as possible, because in the past I've been a bit sort of slapdash, just dropped the lighter fluid, it went everywhere, and there was the fear I had that it would slip under the edges of the bubbles and remove them. So. This time, just being a bit more careful. And you know what, I'm going to put the uh, fluid over all these stickers, give it a chance to, to soak in and hopefully release the adhesive. And it shouldn't be as big a problem as it was with the Retro Collection, given that th these price stickers have had decades for the adhesive to dissolve, whereas the Retro Collection were only just um, adhere to those card backs. And as I commented on my second uh, Retro Collection sticker removal, which was the Empire Strikes Back line, those were a lot harder to remove the stickers than the original Star Wars release. Don't know why that was, but uh, so anyway, I'm going to try and see if we've got anything oh, it's sliding off already, actually. Yeah, this seems to have worked. It's actually moved. Oh, there you go. Well, that couldn't have been any simpler. That's one. Uh, this one's slightly more uh, difficult, but it's it's coming. So again, um, if anyone's interested, this is a Steve Clayton 0.38 millimeter guitar pick that I'm using. I'm sure any sort of thin uh, plastic would work. Um, I'm trying to think what would, what is that as thin as this? I don't know, but these are so cheap. They're, you could pick these up easily. And again, I want to stress that these price stickers are decades old. So, oh, there we go. Two for one. 
So that's them off. Just going to give it a little wipe down with a paper towel. Uh, uh, that now was that adhesive or I think that slight um, card removal. I think one of these, possibly this one. Also, it's on a crease. It's hard to tell, but certainly looking at that, that's a whole lot better than it was before, right? So I have to say this was being rather successful and again um, I'm sure I could probably have got these off without the assistance of the lighter fluid but to me it works so why change a, a winning formula so yeah so as you could see that was pretty successful and I'm extremely happy with the results and if you are so inclined I would highly recommend that technique to remove stickers um, again, not for everybody, but if, like me, you want these stickers off, you can't really go wrong. So thank you for watching, with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, please stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.